we need to talk. Priscilla, before you start, I'd like to apologize. You can do more than just apologize. Now that you have another son, write your will in Carice's name. I don't want any nasty wars when you're gone. You're right. Priscilla, I'm really sorry about the events, but please understand, I didn't know anything about this before. I know. But I find it hard to understand that you have another son, whether you knew about it or not. Priscilla, I do understand your anger. And I'm really thankful for your patience. Just give me a bit more time. Whatever you do, just make sure that our son doesn't lose out. Aris is my son, and he will always be. Just because somebody else has appeared doesn't change a thing. Thank you, Winston. Hey! hey. Mama Bog has found a new man, eh? Yeah. Hey, now this is your man. He looks expensive. I mm. hope you can keep up with him. Nothing like that. This is Eddie, the investment man from Nairobi. Oh. He is a man I was talking to you about. He's going to make us all rich. <laughs> My dear ladies, Panina has told me all about you. And it's all good, I can assure you. Hey, Mama Mboka has been telling us about your business. She says that if we give you our money, it grows very fast. Oh, hey. well, that's true. You give me your money, and in one week, I will give it back to you with profit so high that the banks want to close for losing customers. Hey! hey. hey. Mama hey. Boka, that's why you're so rich this days, Mboka, you bought a hammer. Hey. 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 But what about me? I have very little money. Oh. Even me, I don't have money. But I think I can get some. Can I bring it to you? Of course. Yes. This is only for the market women. We are the ones who discover this man, eh? Now everyone wants to eat where they never planned a talk up. Oh, ladies, mm. ladies. You see, the more people that join, the more your money grows. Mm. So let everyone join, even those with, you know, little money. Mm. <laughs> you can join. <laughs> hey, hey, kill him to Jenny. Could Jenny was Kemambo? Hey, Karipuni Arakishin. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, now, my good people, my name is Eddie, and I'm here to make your money grow tall as trees. Mm. You see, I'm not like the banks that, you know, take money from poor people. No. You can deposit only 500 shillings and watch it grow. Hey! hey. I'm even registered with the government as a credit and saving society. Look, have a look at it. It's there. Genuine article. My dear mm -hmm. people, if it sounds too good to be true, it might not be true. Uh, okay, but it is true. Matano, this Eddie, two weeks' time, my money was doubled. Look at how rich I am. Hey. So this is for people with little money. Baraka, let's go. This noise is too much for my weak heart. Look, I also cater for money with um, you know, people with bigger money. And for them, the interest is even higher. Baraka, stop. Can't you see I'm talking to a very important investor? Yes. Uh, Please believe me, that is not the way I had planned to let you know that you're my father. I'm sure. But that's all what under the bridge. I've decided we're going to do things the proper way. I'm going to throw a party for you tonight to announce you as my son. That's the way Leonida would have liked me to receive you. She loved you. My daughter really did. Why she never tried to contact me is something I'll never understand. It would have solved so many things. She thought you never cared. Me? Why would she think anything of that sort? No man can double your money unless he's getting himself richer. Uh -uh. That guy is a con man. Why make him rich when we can make a fat bit FM? Now hurry up, eh? I want to go and see Mr. Eddie, Mr. Double Cash himself. But where does that man get money to pay Tapu? I hear he pays for the money and it grows. He says he has businesses in the States where he buys stocks from Bill Gates and sells, and then he brings the profit. I am the African Bill Gates waiting to happen. <laughs> Eddie grows money exponentially. I mean, uh, potential, sex potential. Exponentially? Mm. We're in the toilet when Max was being taught. <laughs> I think it's the electric shock from your radio last week. <laughs> no, he was stupid enough to come and touch me. This was... <laughs> Thanks, dude. We'll be rolling in dollars and you'll be my bodyguard. Hey, until that day comes, let me see if I can go and borrow Anna money and then I go invest in it. Run away! <laughs> Where's your mother? Saloon. Tell her I'd like to see her before the party. What party? There's going to be a party tonight to officially welcome Vincent into the family. What? 
You can't do that. You'll shame the whole family in front of everyone. This is not shaming people. This is the proper way to do things. But Dad, you don't... I don't have time for your selfish mornings. I have more important things to sort out. Hey, Bill. Yeah. I'm doing some wiring at the Pluto Lounge, and I was wondering if you could help me with some stuff that I need. Whatever you need, you know where to find it. The shop is open. I have an appointment with Mr. Witness himself. Be careful of the likes of Eddie. Not all that glitters is always gold. <laughs> Opportunity only knocks once, my friend. I will not let it pass. Hey, Vivi. You look really nice in that overall. Ah, come on. I was just going to the Pluto lounge to do some wiring. No wonder I felt some electric sparks <sighs> flying through me. Can I join you? Mm, OK. But why don't we get this ladder first, and then we can see what two wires the two of us can put together. Florence. Out. Is there a problem, my dear? Out. Why did you make Leonida believe I didn't care? Leonida? Who is Leonida? She tried contacting me to tell me about Vincent. You sent these letters back without informing me. She needed me and I wasn't there for her. Me? I know nothing about this. Don't play games with me, Priscilla. You wanted her to believe that I didn't care about her. Isn't that so? I'm sorry, Winston, but I don't understand what you're trying to get at. You're the one who goes to the post office for the mails. OK, fine, I admit. But what was I supposed to do? A woman writes to my husband telling him that she's expecting his baby? You should have shown me the letters. That's what you should have done. They are addressed to Winston Maboki, not Priscilla. I had to protect my husband from a woman who was only after his money. I bet that's why she got herself pregnant. Hey, you know, if you touch those two wires together, you might get uh, jolted. Oh, but there's nothing more like to find than your touch and your smile and your Sorry. eyes. At this rate, we might never finish this. <laughs> hey, baby, can you put this across the door like an arc? They look a bit awkward. I mean, Christmas is so far away. Mr. Mabuki is throwing a party to welcome his son tonight. It's too late for me to go and buy more decorative lights. Mr. Mabuki is throwing your party. I wonder what the people will say. I was caught flat-footed too, but you know how determined Mr. Mabuki can be. Uh, so, did you ever know before last week that Mr. Babuki was your father? I knew of him last year, and I sought to trace him. Mm -hmm. But the first time I met him is when I came to Mokutano. Ah, since you're older than Caris, does that mean you inherit the bar and everything? Tony, please! I'm just curious. Curiosity killed the cat. And satisfaction brought it back to life. No, Tony, I have nothing to take from Mabuki. I just want to know my father. Caris has nothing to fear. And since your mother is dead, does that mean you'll be calling Priscilla mommy? Tony, babes, darling, why don't you uh, go to the barbers and get me another screwdriver? Because mm. this one's too small. OK, honey, my name is Baby, yes, yeah. Girls, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. At least she's friendly like some people I know. So 3,000 last week, which makes it 6,000 plus 200. Bonus. <laughs> I don't know where Huntington had to go in such a hurry. Excuse me, please. Push me there. there I want yeah. to. Nah. You go back to the line. Uh -huh. We have been here since morning. You think we've been sandbasking? Mm. Aye, Josiah, let's put half and use the other half to buy this week's food. We don't have anything to eat today, and I don't have anything else. You give it all to Eddie. Just think about the future. We are going to be rich. We are going to eat meat every day. Imagine. We can survive on Ugali for the next few weeks. You don't worry. Sealed me. <laughs> Someone would think you people are being paid Zara is the way you are risking your money. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm putting in five thou. Eh? Next week I'll have ten thou and buy a big TV for my house. From next week, I won't sell meat anymore. Mm. Dealing with Eddie will make me a millionaire. Hey! Pippi wants to borrow your screwdriver to put up big lights at the Pluto Lounge. Hey, everybody, everybody, everybody. Mr. Mabuki is throwing a big party for Vincent tonight at the Pluto Lounge. Please be there, be there, be there, be there. <laughs> and I'm going to buy you all drinks tonight. Mm. Now, I was telling you this Eddie is for real. He's for real. Yeah. Eh? Now, Eddie, I'm going to yeah. reinvest this money. Yeah. Eh? 
so that next week it's going to be even bigger. <laughs> I want to buy a lorry to transport my vegetables. That is very, very wise of you, Mamboga. So, and you shall reap. <laughs> I, I want to sow next, and uh, I have a weak heart. This waiting might uh, help me. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Have you seen Dad? I don't want to hear about him. How can he shout at me as if I'm a small child? Do you know about the party? He's throwing Vincent a party to welcome him as a member of our family. What? This is taking jokes too far. He doesn't know me. I've been looking all over for you. You know, I was at the city the other day and I saw this nice designer outfit. Exactly the same as is worn by the Queen of England. <laughs> and I just thought of Mama Pipi. It's so perfect for her. This looks like a wedding gown to me. <laughs> it's lace. Exactly the same as is worn by wives of elegant men in England. Mr. Baraka, when people see your wife in this, <laughs> and the size exactly has. Hi, Pipi. I'm making your mother into a queen. <laughs> Hey, Dad, can you believe that she's decided to give her money to that sly-looking investment man? Hey, can you even imagine? Those market women won't even let me invest in their club. Yeah, that's a good thing. Poverty gone, prosperity now is not an investment club. It's a pyramid scheme. There are unsafe, dangerous organizations that are made to steal your money and make you poor. You're better off reinvesting in your business and working hard than waiting for some quick cash. I'll see you later, Dad. I'll see you. Hey, dog, stop jumping up and down like a drunken monkey and get me out of here. Man, I'm gonna be rich. Long live Eddie! Don't this be dog. That guy stole my woman, now you're stuck in the ladder. Stop being a baby. Get down. Okay. Hey. Uh, uh, man, you call fire brigade, you call 911. <laughs> this is in the Americas of viewers, eh? Get down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You mean it was this near? <laughs> <laughs> this one was of you and my mother in high school. Is that the one of him with a hairstyle like a warthog? <laughs> <laughs> that was the fashion then. Ah, Leonida. Beautiful Leonida. What I'd give to be with her now. You people think you can come out of the blue and take my father away? Well, let me tell you something. There's nothing. Nothing in our family that you're going to touch. Harris, please. Dad, are you blind? They're only out to ruin your reputation and our family name. You're the one ruining our reputation with your bad behavior. I'm your son. And after all these years, you're willing to deny me for strangers you don't even know? Harris, please. Well, let me tell you something. From today onwards, I'm not your son. And you're not my father. Caris! Caris! Do you have any more mosquito nets to sell to me? Hey, it's Anna. Huh? You're selling your mosquito nets? Aye, there are so many. See, Washington gave Josiah and Tomasi two each. Are you crazy? Not having mosquito nets is like inviting Maria into your house. I ran to the hard way. Mama Mboga, maybe she's looking for money to invest with Mr. Eddie. Hey. Huh? Me, I would never trust that man with any of my money. Me, I'm not a fool. That's where you say that all of us who invested are foolish. Mm -hmm. 
Why are you even talking to her? Eh? If she doesn't want to invest, what shall I do? What shall I do? Hey, Toka. Yeah, you're just jealous. What do you want here? Don't you have a bar of your own? I came to apologize. I know that you never consider me a brother, but for the sake of Mr. Mabuki, you could at least be friends. Leave me alone. I will, Caris. I will leave you alone. But let me assure you that I have nothing against you as a person, and I did not come here to cause misery to you or your family. I hope you understand. Maybe he's right. We need to go in there and make appearances for the sake of the family. No! That make dad feel like he has control over me and I'm not going to give pleasure to a man who doesn't even value us. Don't worry, my son. I'll prove to the world that Caris and Priscilla are not scared of such small threats like Vincent. Those two baboons stuck together like glue. When people fall in love, two become one. Uh, those two just have one single brain. There's no way you can tell me that they could not see me on top of the roof. Everyone could see me. Chill, dude. Eh? Let's go party. It's not every day free beers happen. I ain't going nowhere, dog. Uh, what if I'd broken my leg jumping off the roof? Mm. We just to go for that party. Huh? You want me to say no, right? Well, I'd have gone and drunk the beers the same way I'm going now. Look, I'm going. I'm going, I'm gone. Good people, Bakhtano. I'd like to thank you for coming at such short notice. I have been a prodigal father, but God has been gracious enough to bring me back my long lost son, Vincent, and the mother of Leonida, Rebecca. I stand here before you, Bakhtano people, to ask you to accept Vincent as a member of my family and as a member of Makutano. Will you do that? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, I don't wish to make this a formal occasion, so uh, DJ, hear the music. Let's make music. This Mabuki has really changed, eh? You know they used to make long speeches, like the opening of the Glee Week. <laughs> it is old age, cashing up with him. I did that dancing. This is just like he's getting younger. <laughs> Winston, I'm sorry. I truly am. I promise you, I'm going to try and accept Vincent and welcome him to our family. <laughs> Great, the whole of Makutano is here. Yeah, it's fantastic. But I haven't seen your mom and your dad, though. Where are they? My mom doesn't like going out at night. The call gets to her. Yeah, but she never seems to go out. I mean, it's, she leaves the clinic and she goes straight home. Can it's we like... please stop talking about my parents? Why? You never want to talk about your parents. Well, because we have better things to talk about, like us, for example. Oh. Hmm. This is how people get prodigal children from prodigal parties. You can hide, but you can't run. I'm the angel watching over you. Don't commit sin number six. <laughs> Caris, see the way your father is treating your brother, throwing parties all over for him. Yet he kicks you in the mouth like a donkey. How the mighty fall. Happy are we who don't know our fathers. <laughs> Too much drinking is bad. You know, I never hear you talk about your father. What do you want to know about my father? Well, does he know how you feel about me? Does he approve of us? Really? And... What? 
I want to know everything about you and your family and where you come what from. What for? Are you interested in my parents or me? <sighs> okay, look, I'm sorry. And I won't ask about your family again if it bothers you. It this does. Much. We only have one life to live and we should live it ourselves. No thinking about our parents who have already lived their lives. to speak proper English, you can come and talk to me. Okay, okay, but don't say me tell you that the microfinance is open and there's a light inside. <clears throat> ah, Margaret, please wait for me here. You must be really happy now. Well, yes, I never expected it to be this way. You know, it looks planned like clockwork, with one eye on my husband's property. My grandson has got all the property he needs. He just had to move his father. Nothing else. After all these years, he finally struck you as important, huh? Married women these days. I wonder how your husband stands like the poisonous stands. Did you just accuse me of wanting to poison my husband? Not so loud. It's it's me. <laughs> I thought we were thieves. Come on, get out, lock up, and let's go to the party. Uh, just, just don't come in yet. I, just give me give me a few minutes. Where are my shoes? I, I don't know. Where's where's my t-shirt? I don't know. Help me. I don't have all night. Um, Mr. Botano, I can't come out. You see, someone's stolen our clothes. What? You know. Uh, Mr. Matano, we were not thinking of doing what you were thinking. We were thinking of doing, sir. Oh, my God! Uh, uh, sorry. I only respect your age, Rebecca. Otherwise, I would teach you a lesson. Teach yourself how to shut up first, then come show me what you've got. <laughs> Why can't some women accept the sons of their co wives as being more successful than their own? It's not that they're blind. I knew you'd want to have an opinion over this scandal. Go on, laugh, laugh, laugh all you can. I bet it gives you a lot of satisfaction. Priscilla, keep your voice down. I thought you were comfortable with our new situation. I lied. You have brought shame to this family and disgraced my name. I'll never be able to hold my head high up again as long as that mosquito net wearing busy bodies wants to have her voice heard. This is not mosquito net. It's called lace. And the only other woman in the world who wears this is the Queen of England herself. But what do you know? Mosquito net. You are lying. Give it to me. Hey, hey, mosquito net. True that, Kabisa. No wonder your husband had another wife before you, Priscilla. You are a devil. You are the devil yourself. Walking without your wheelchair, and yet you claim to be a cripple. Fraud. What? Oh! My heart. Barak. Barak's. Barak. 